Hi everyone, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on how to engage the keys to answered prayers through the searching spirit, the spirit of God. This video will bless you in no small way. So fasten your seatbelt and prepare to be blessed by this video production. Thank you and God bless you. God can give you all kinds of foolish instructions, let me tell you. Do you know there was a day, I do this every once in a while, but there was a day God instructed me. I was just lying down. I, I wasn't asleep and I was praying. And all of a sudden, I just sensed the anointing. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God told me, stand up and lie down flat on the ground. Like, get up from your bed oh, and lie. Imagine if somebody opened my door. He said, this is it. I've, I've, I've always known that this guy, there is something occultic he's doing. And you would think as I lie down, I will feel one ghost. I saw nothing. I had nothing. I lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes. Honestly speaking, I even started sleeping small. And later the voice just came, go to bed, go and sleep. The next meeting that we went, I can't remember where, I saw a dimension of the grace of God that I couldn't understand. I said, what happened? And God told me, while you were lying down, your, something was happening to you. You don't have to feel it. You believe it. God is not a fool. This is how some of you can be there. Lord, who is going to be my helper? And God says, come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes. The natural man. Lord, what? I'm, I'm educated. And you stand there. 10 minutes. Somebody passes and says, ah promise are you all right you say i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. One of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it. There is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit. This eye is not just for looking. You can write these things. House rent. God, what is the way out? Are we together now? ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit to pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah I will never forget one day I was asking God a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking and before you knew it I still don't know the name that I typed a YouTube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray Baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and I listened to it that message changed my life I searched for other videos the, the message did not even finish but it contained my answer hallelujah are you blessed you have to learn this if you must rise there are two ways to rise in life hustle if you want to keep moving around and knocking or go to God and say my God show me the way show me the way god can help men oh koinonia hear me my god can help men 
this trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again so the key is to be circumspect access the deep things of god if you're naming tonight's message then it's, it's titled accessing the deep things of god i'm giving you a secret this is what i do with my life lord i thank you sometimes a scripture is coming sometimes the voice of god comes for you sometimes a mystery comes sometimes an instruction comes you see that god can give you all kinds of foolish instructions let me tell you do you know there was a day i do this every once in a while but there was a day god instructed me i was just lying down i i wasn't asleep and i was praying and all of a sudden i just sensed the anointing and all of a sudden the spirit of god told me stand up and lie down flat on the ground like get up from your bed oh, and lie imagine if somebody opened my door he said this is it I've, I've i've always known that this guy there is something occultic he's doing and you would think as i lie down i will feel one ghost i saw nothing i had nothing i lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes honestly speaking i even started sleeping small and later the voice just came go to bed go and sleep the next meeting that we went i can't remember where i saw a dimension of the grace of god that i couldn't understand i said what happened and god told me while you were lying down your something was happening to you you don't have to feel it you believe it god is not a fool this is how some of you can be there lord who is going to be my helper and god says come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes the natural man lord what i'm, I'm educated and you stand here 10 minutes somebody passes and say ah promise are you all right you say i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god will say do it immediately you call he said i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all i saw in my dream look believers you need to be dynamic when you are just straightforward and religious there is no breakthrough the operations of the spirit is like the wind you can't tell where it's coming or where it's going so is one who is led of the spirit there are people here who came from lagos because they were praying lord what do i do with my life and god says stand up come to zaria they can't tell you exactly why they are here that's why when you ask them those questions it's difficult for them to answer they don't want to look like they are stupid sometimes they themselves think they are stupid but keep watching god there is a mystery walking out then you will see the glory and the beauty why will god tell you to leave lagos this gentleman left ghana and came help that lady i said lagos and truly truly she fell under the anointing praise him someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money is in sokoto as dry and harsh as the weather is your prosperity is where the voice of god is for you not greener pastures is not a location greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the spirit directs you there are people any other place you go you will not prosper you will prosper in zaria someone will come in zaria and be wondering what is in this place the only thing i saw was just a few shops here but a direction for you every lifting in this ministry and every greatness god has brought happened right here because we could access these mysteries are you ready to pray we are going to pray sit down you are not going to stand up sit down listen you are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly 
and then i just want you to pray don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time you just pray in the spirit right take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive to what god will be doing for some as you are praying what you'll be receiving is impartation some as you are praying you will not even know what is happening to you not every information must be communicated in words some truths are imparted just do what i'm telling you to do don't worry about those shouting pray in the spirit thank you jesus everywhere inside outside you just pray the spirit show us the secrets of our life oh god show us the way out let it come from heaven some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it you watch and see what happens to you a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh, 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 oh. Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. just pray koinonia we are soaking in the glory everyone pray in the spirit lord why is my cgpa refusing to rise what must i do i have studied i've done my best go ahead pray lord what do i need to do where is my finances oh god where is it where is the key to the next level what is the formula for my establishment lord how will you bail my family out do i just meet anybody should i meet a particular helper if yes what is the name who is the helper is he in zaria is she in zaria do i need to go out of zaria lord what is the thing is my ministry in zaria is it in nigeria where is it where is my breakthrough? Pray! Show me the secrets of my destiny. Go ahead. We are not wasting our time. I, I guarantee you. The Bible says the natural man. The natural man some of you in the silence like the dew of harmon ideas begin to come that poultry is my will for you don't stop it that public speaking you are about to give up but it is where your finances is don't stop it looks like your church is not growing but you are called you just need an upgrade of the anointing answers coming from heaven spirit of the lord we ask you search for us the deep things search the mind of god concerning our destinies concerning our families 
concerning our ministries concerning our homes lord where will this project money come from there is no human way it is going to come but i know that thou art the fountain of wisdom it is in your light that we see light show me show me open my eyes i am tired of doing what everybody is doing i'm tired of failing like everyone i'm tired of saying yes to just anybody open my eyes show me pray just three or four more minutes lord where is the anointing where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer is it my room or do i need to go out of my house every night what is the timing what is my time of receiving revelation from you is there a unique time you want to give me from 12 to 2 every day is it a time you are giving me it may not be so for everybody but what time have you allocated for my visitation do i need to fast once every day do i need to go on a drive fast what do i need to do do i need to dance for seven days show me oh god there has to be a way out why are my heavens closed why do i fast and pray and yet nothing happens why are the nine graduates in my family jobless show me then the secret was revealed unto daniel and daniel blessed the god of heaven Two more minutes, go ahead and pray. Open my mind, open my mind, open my mind. There is a way out. There is a way to the wealthy place. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to influence. There is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a path which no foul knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not trodden there. Show me, oh God, this mystery paths in the spirit. These virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread. Open my eyes, oh God, like a two-edged sword. And let me see the path here marked for my destiny. The Logi Madonna. The Logi Madonna. The Balakata Barakata Bashana Baladia. The Kataya. The Logi Madonna. blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you